Hi, this is Guru Francis from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today we're going to be utilizing another FMA tutorial, but this time it's a little bit more advanced, so this is more, uh, definitely more, uh, if somebody's seasoned or at least um, has a couple years of FMA training under their belt, we're going to be utilizing the puño. Now, the puño is the butt end of the stick. Now, many styles hold the stick all the way at the bottom. Some styles even hold it really high, but for us, our system, we use either one inch to one and a half inch from the bottom. For, in, our, in our opinion, this gives us the greatest amount of grip, at the same time, the most amount of length of our strikes now. Um, and, but we also utilize the puño for so many things, for attacks and for, for locks, and also as a kind of a decoy system. Okay, so now we're gonna utilize it, and I want you to see what your thoughts about it. Hi, right, so okay, so now we're gonna be utilizing this now, and we're gonna be showcasing how we're gonna use it. The first one I'm gonna use this, the puño as a distraction technique. So. I have my, my student Raymond here to help me out. And of course, I have my cameraman Lloyd Zamora to help me out as well. So first, he's going to strike here to, to my left side, to my left temple. And I'm going to come down here in, with, a, with a puño strike to his ribs. And he's going to catch it. Boom. So that's the distraction one. This is the decoy, OK? Let's get moving a little closer. He strikes here. Boom. And I'm going to come down here. That's, his de that's my decoy strike, OK? So thinking that that's gonna be the end of it. So then when he strikes again, boom, boom. I'm gonna come up here, lock him up this way. Okay, one more time. He's gonna strike me here, boom. I'm gonna throw it down here, gonna pop this up and lock him down this way. Now let's slow that down a little bit. He's gonna strike here. He's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gently pull him in this way and then he's gonna catch his, his, my, his, my stick, my puño strike with his, with his palm up here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly bring my hand up this way and grab this this way. So now what this actually happens is that his arm rolls, full, rolls back and I pull him down this way. So again, let's utilize that. Boom, boom, pop up in here and he's locked down, okay? So that's the first one. The second technique we're gonna be using now is how we use it to manipulate him so I can get to the golden zone. Now the golden zone is to the outside of your opponent. So when he strikes here, here, and I'm gonna strike down here this way, instead of popping this up, I'm gonna use my forearm to pop him up this way and lock him up this way. Now, if you notice that my left hand is automatically here because it's a way to also protect myself from any attack. So if he tries to punch me on, come up this way, I'm already here to protect myself here. I'm sorry, one more time. Boom, block, right, here, here, right? He punches, here, and I lock him up this way. Then I come up here and lock him up here, okay? So that's one way. Then again, he strikes me here, boom, he blocks, I puño, I hubad using this, and now you can see, coming closer, that this is locks it here and here. Using that puño, locks him in here, and then I'm here popping him up this way. The next thing is we can also do, here, here, and I'm gonna go low on this one and use my elbow to lock him up this way. So when he tries to punch here, right, I'm gonna go to this side and grab this, okay? So now, so you can see on the other side, we're gonna have Raymond come over here. See there, see there. He's gonna come up, boom. I'm gonna pop him up here, strike him here again. Come up this way here. I'm gonna be up. He punches here, boom, automatically this stick goes here and pull, okay? Now, we can also utilize the puño when he strikes, boom. Strike here, boom, strike here, boom, and strike definitely to the head, right? Or he, I can also use this to lock both arms here, boom, boom, here, lock, boom. I'm gonna lock him in this way, come out, come out here and lock him in again here, okay? Or just straight strikes. When he strikes here, boom, boom, right? Boom, come up here, even use this to get him back on his toes, okay? So those are some of the techniques that you're using that you can do when you're using the puño. Be creative, show me what you got and, send a, and, and then film yourself and show me what you can do with the puño. This is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador from Filipino Martial Arts School. Please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so you're alerted to the next video. Until then, this is Guru Francis. Peace out. God bless and keep swinging them sticks.